Good morning to you on this Monday morning. A thought came to me this morning, and that is that God always keeps all of His promises. We can trust in His Word. The Latvians have many, many pithy little sayings that are, are very apt. And there's one in Latvian that says, Solits maka nikrit, which means a promise doesn't land in your wallet. It does sound better in Latvian, but the thought is there. The people don't always deliver on what they promise. As we now begin to knock down our house and begin construction, I realize that I'll be thinking about that many, many times. So many, so many workers promise that they'll be there on time, they'll do certain things, and there's always delays, there's always different things that go wrong. So many times last week, so many people promised things and they just didn't deliver. But that's never the case with God. We read in 1 John, if we confess our sins, then He is just and faithful to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is always faithful. Whatever He promises, He fulfills. Because one of the big differences between God and man is that God is able to keep everything that He promises because He has all power. He has backing for His promises. We always don't. Sometimes we promise things that we simply cannot do. But as Christians, we should strive to always do our very best. And if we promise something, we should try to model our lives on God, who keeps His promises. We shouldn't promise what we're not able to do. Many years ago, we went to a restaurant in, here in Leichhardt. It was late at night and everything that we ordered on the menu, they simply didn't have. And I finally said, what sort of place is this? And the waiter said, well, look up at the, what's written on the ceiling. And there was graffiti all over the restaurant and on the ceiling in great big letters. It said, blessed are those who expect nothing, for they shall never be disappointed. And unfortunately, it's something I often think about in life. Blessed are those who expect nothing, for they shall never be disappointed. If we don't build up too much of an expectation, then we don't get disappointed. But this never applies to God. We can build up a massive expectation because He will do everything that He promised. Sure, if we ask things that God has not promised, well, we will be disappointed. But if we ask according to His will, we know that we will receive what we ask of Him. We know that He will do what He has promised because He is always just and He is always faithful. What a great thought to start the week with, knowing that we can trust in God, that He will keep all of His promises. So let's now thank Him and ask His blessing over this day. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are just and faithful and true and that you always keep all of your promises, that we are never disappointed with you if we stay within your will because you always do what you have promised and you will always do the very best for us, even at the times when we don't understand. Because Paul said, we know that all things work together for good to those who love God who are called according to His eternal purpose. Many times we struggle to see Your will. We struggle to see where the good is. But You have promised that it's there. And so we simply trust in You. Lord, as we begin this new week, we ask Your blessing over the working week. We ask Your blessing over our government. We pray, Lord, that You would give them wisdom and strength and the ability to, to fulfill everything that they need to do. Show them how we can continue to roll back the restrictions and get life back to somewhat normal. Lord, we pray for those who are still sick. We pray for the dying. We pray for those who are mourning. We pray for those who care for them. We thank you for our doctors and nurses and all of our healthcare workers. We thank you for workers everywhere, for all the services and the life that we enjoy. We thank you for the freedom that we have. We ask your blessing, Lord, upon ourselves, your blessing upon our families, your blessing upon all of our loved ones, upon our church, upon our country. Lord, we ask your blessing and we pray that you would help us to always be like you, to be faithful. If we promise something to deliver, Lord, help us to model you in our life and above all things, to love all people, to love you with our whole heart, soul and strength and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Help us today, Lord. We commit all to you. We pray that you would take us by the hand, that you would lead us every step of the way. 
And now we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. God willing, I'll see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.